Working new details on a serious car crash. It happened early this morning. The driver lost control and slammed into a tree. The impact of the collision snapped the tree in half. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik has the details live in Bristol with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom. Well, Aaron, tonight police here in Bristol not releasing too many details, but they say that victim is a 21-year-old male. They say he was driving a car with New Hampshire plates. And of course, tonight, the accident still under investigation. It's awful to see the person the way they were. Neighbors describe the 21-year-old male victim who became trapped in his car, nestled in this tree on Medicom Ave in Bristol around 12.30 this morning. Emergency workers rushed to the scene, a mobile command station set up, as crews worked frantically to remove the victim from his car with the jaws of life. Neighbors say it was a terrifying experience. It was Boom, boom, boom. I mean, <laughs> that's how it was. You know, I, I looked out the window and realized that there's been an accident and I came out the house running. By the time I woke up, there was a bunch of uh, cruisers out here and stuff like that. And um, they asked us to go back into the house while I was under investigation. Police are not releasing much information tonight, but say the 21-year-old was alone in his 2002 Nissan when, for whatever reason, he left the roadway. And while police are still investigating this accident tonight, they say that 21-year-old was driving southbound on Medicom Ave when he left the roadway, hit this stone wall here, went airborne, and then landed right here in that tree. The way they were in that situation, you know, to be cut out of the vehicle and, you know, not talking and not responding, you know, it's scary to see that. That victim was taken from the car and rushed to Rhode Island Hospital. Tonight, neighbors say it's a second accident on that same stretch of roadway in just one week time. And tonight, police here at the Bristol Police Department were not made available to us, but I did speak with a clerk earlier, and he says at this point he believes that victim is still living. Reporting live tonight with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom here in Bristol, I'm Catherine Sodnik, Eyewitness News.